So if you're looking to learn Obsidian, we've got a course called Obsidian Made Simple. Make sure to check it out in the description below. Hello folks, welcome to today's video. We're going over four alternatives to Obsidian. Obsidian, for those who don't know, is a bi-directional note-taking application which has gained a lot of traction. It's available on Mac, Windows, Linux, and coming to mobile very soon. So we're gonna go over all of them, so do stay tuned in today's video. Before we begin, our sponsor, ClickUp, is here with a little bit more information. So this month's sponsor on Keep Productive is ClickUp. And if you haven't heard of ClickUp already, it's a powerful productivity platform designed to be the one place for all your work. Now it's great to have them back on as a sponsor to Keep Productive, and ClickUp has over 200,000 teams using them to get organized and how know everything from to-do lists to resource management. Now with the ability to change views, ClickUp offers a flexible way for teams to design their own workspaces to get things done, and with a huge host of integrations, they can connect with tools they're already using. Most recently, they've added the ability to email externally inside of ClickUp without leaving the workspace. Now, ClickUp are offering an exciting discount off their business and enterprise plans. You can find out a little bit more below. And thank you guys again for coming on. And do check them out in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Talk soon. So as I said, we're going over four alternatives to Obsidian. Now, as you can imagine, there are tons of applications in the space growing in popularity as bi-directional linking becomes even more important in note-taking. So our first one is RemNote. Now, this is actually more tailored towards students and researchers. However, RemNote provides a great way to be able to create a note and connect it with another note. And it has a bit of a special feature which a lot of people like at least for learning situations, is flashcards. You can create flashcards out of the notes that you've created and be able to see the relationships that are there for all of the different topics that you produce. What's really nice is you can use space repetition technology or methodology to actually start learning those so that they repeat in times that help you progress with your learning. So this is more tailored towards students. However, the concepts still remain the same. There is a graph view that you can access However, this is in RemNotes Premium account. So the second option we have is Ample Notes. Now this has been around for about a year and a half roughly. I think maybe a little bit longer, but it's been in beta for a fair while. Now Ample Notes provides you with a great note taking solution. And a lot of people like it because it's very simple bi-directional linking. You can connect one note to another and be able to see those linked references and obviously uh, use tags to organize that as well. So you've got sort of the two higher hierarchy setups that you can produce inside of uh, Ample Notes, but also people love the task score. So when you create a task inside of a note in Ample Notes, you can use the task score to give you a rating based on how urgent or important the task is, which might help determine the importance or urgency for your you know list um, and really picking out the best task. Now it is still a little bit sort of cut and dry around the edges. I don't really like some of the designs of it, but again, at the moment, these sort of note-taking applications will probably add all of that polish later. So the third one is one that I wouldn't typically recommend in most situations because it's very new. It's actually just been released in sort of like an open beta. It's called Hypernotes. Now, this is actually available for free at the moment, but there is a paid plan to it. But Hypernotes come from the family uh, of suite of applications from Zenkit. Now, Zenkit Suite actually produce a chat app, a to-do list app, and also project manager and they've added hypernotes which is their bi-directional linking note-taking application to the mix and it's actually a really good application for those who are interested in being able to connect their notes but don't want to necessarily learn all about the note philosophies and note linking philosophies around that like Zettelcast and things like that if you're looking for a sort of basic setup to it but you still want to be able to bi-directional link and use a graph view um, then this is a great setup and it also has some great productivity tools within it like task management, uh, some basic task management, uh, and also the ability to connect to other Zen's Kit Suite applications. Um, so as I said, I don't normally recommend it, but because Zen Kit has been around for a little bit of, well, a fair bit of time uh, as a uh, productivity application, then that's why I'm, I'm point, pointing you in that direction. So number four and final one is probably the one that most people commonly associate with Obsidian, and that is Roam Research. Now this is an application that's been uh, around for a little bit of time, but it's already amassed a great 
cult following and I literally mean that because they're called Rome Cult and they are a community that really backs the product Rome Research and uh, it has all of the abilities that Obsidian would inside of it um, but a few sort of, I would say a few uh, better specialist applications and Rome have invested a lot more into their uh, funding of community projects and apps inside of Rome so in the future in the next couple of months maybe in the next year or so we'll definitely see more third-party applications inside of Rome because they've put and injected more money into that. The negatives to Rome that some people who may be using Obsidian or are considering Obsidian is that Rome has a $15 per month pricing. However, again, the Rome cult tend to be really happy paying this because at least they know their product's going to continue into the future. Um, as you can imagine, that sort of uh, knowledge that they've got sort of support ongoing is, is, is really good to know. I always tend to like to know that applications have premium experiences to know that they're going to be sticking around for a little bit of time at least um, and you can see that with Rome at least. So folks those are some alternatives to the likes of Obsidian. Obviously um, there are tons more. Um, I wanted to point people towards Walling and Supernotes just because they're two sort of outsiders. Walling is more of an idea uh, collection um, but you can also connect it with sort of other notes that you've produced and be able to create walls from it. Awesome concept if ideation is something you go into and Supernotes is great for those who take collaborative notes more for students more for researchers sort of ones who take sort of flashcard like notes however at the same time it's growing in popularity so folks hopefully that was useful please do check out the obsidian may simple course and also naturally click up who is our sponsor today but thank you very much folks and i hope you enjoy today's video cheerio